What if I told you that some of the most powerful music videos don't need multi-million dollar sets, fancy effects, or flashy costumes? That sometimes it's the absence of that noise that hits the hardest. Today we're diving into why minimalist music videos can still pack a punch compared to their flashier counterparts. And no, it's not just because they're easier to make. In an industry obsessed with bigger, louder, and better, it's healthy to remind ourselves that sometimes, when executed well, less can be more. So let's talk about why when stripping things back in a music video, it can sometimes make the song and the visuals hit harder. Minimalist music videos are like the black coffee of the video world. No whipped cream, no fancy stuff, just raw, straight caffeine. They get straight to the point and let the music and the emotions shine without any distractions. In fact, the less that's happening on screen, the more the audience is drawn in to what is happening. The beauty of the minimalist music video is it doesn't try to force emotion onto the screen. It gives you space to find your own meaning in the song and the visuals. It's a blank canvas that says, hey, make of this what you will. And that's powerful. That's what connects people. As a director, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've done your flashy music videos with your high budgets, but I've also done more stripped back, bare bones productions. And honestly, it's some of the more simple ones that end up being more powerful. Let me give you some examples. I directed a music video with Quartz One, a Melbourne based artist, which practically had no set. For her track Fade Away, all I had was her and a white background and the creative twist to keep people engaged and to give meaning to the video, to give it a bit of substance, we had this full white tracksuit outfit that as the song progressed, we wrote more and more of the lyrics onto the outfit in Sharpie to symbolize her embodying the song, to showcase her personification of the lyrics that she's talking about. I initially thought it wasn't gonna be enough, but as I started to piece it together in the edit, I noticed that it was one of the more raw and compelling videos that I've ever made. It let the song breathe and the artist's vulnerability was front and center. And so far, this has been her best performing music video that she's ever done. So I think that kind of speaks for itself. Another music video I did on a budget was this really simple and effective project with Moses for his song 3AM in Melbourne, not to be confused with his other track 3AM. I think he needs better naming conventions. For this project, the concept was pretty simple. We wanted to pull off one continuous take from start to finish of the whole song. For anyone who's tried to do this before understands the difficulty of trying to pull this off in one take and getting it to look good. All the video is, is Moses walking around a car park. That's it. No fancy cuts, no fancy effects, just some simple lyrics on screen and nice composition. This music video is still iconic and why? it's because it channels the feeling of the song, the isolation, the defiance, the hanging out with the boys when there's no one else in the world to distract you. And another strong argument to be made is that this video is on 28,000 views, which if you see here, compared to his recent projects for what and for Timbo type beat, which had a lot more visual effects, a lot more scenes, a lot more going on to distract the audience, but also add production value, it's roughly within the same kind of views. So it just goes to show a simple and effective minimalistic music video can still hit just as hard. Or think about the artist 360 and his track Lose It. It was a simple concept, one man, a throne and a telephone, all tied together with a few well-placed camera angles and a good color grade. And this video has become legendary. It's his best performing music video in six years. And why is that? Well, it's because it didn't need anything more. The tone and the straight to the point attitude is all it took. It's one of those music videos that allows your mind to wander. It asks you questions like, why does the phone say do not answer? Why does he break down? What was he told on the phone? It's all of these questions that the audience wants a payoff to. They want answers. That's what keeps them engaged, not the flashy effects. Now let's break down the misconception you're probably thinking when you do hear the word minimalism. In the music video world, it doesn't mean cheap or lazy. If anything, it's quite the opposite. Minimalistic music videos can often be harder to pull off because when you strip away all the bells and whistles, there's nowhere left to hide. The video lives or dies based on the pure artistry. When we did 3AM in Melbourne, it took us over 25 takes to get the one that actually worked. With the Quartz One Fade Away music video, it took over six hours to shoot. You wouldn't think it, but after every single take, we had to meticulously write more and more of the lyrics on the outfit, so we could show that progression of change. And that just takes time. Trying to embody her becoming one with the track wasn't an easy feat. And with the 360 video, everything was riding on the fact that this phone needed to have some emotional weight. 
If it was there just for the sake of being there, it would have stood out like a sore thumb and the audience would have been wondering the whole time, what is that thing in the corner? Why is it distracting? They're asking themselves, what is the point of it? What makes minimalistic music videos work is their precision, not just slapping a bunch of shots together and hoping it works. Every frame is meticulously thought out so that the visuals and the song work together in harmony. When you're watching a minimalistic music video, your focus isn't jumping around everywhere, you're locked in, you're focused. You notice the tiniest of movements, the smallest changes in facial expressions. When you're locked in, it's almost meditative. The difference is so stark in contrast, it's like staring at a busy street versus staring at a blank horizon. One is overwhelming, while the other is almost introspective and calming. Minimalistic music videos do the same thing. They give you space to think and feel rather than just react. A lot of people think music videos need to be loud, fast and packed full of effects to be marketable. But art that is truly timeless doesn't need to scream for attention. Minimalism ages like fine wine. They're not just gimmicks or trends, they're just real. If you wanna check out my recent video on over editing, you can find that here. But in a nutshell, over editing is like dumping too many seasonings on your food until it just doesn't taste like food anymore. Like, okay, congrats, you've turned your gourmet dish into fast food. Minimalism lets the flavor shine. With minimalism, you don't need 200 VFX shots when one perfectly framed one will do. The irony is that people think minimalist music videos are easier to make, but try holding the attention span of someone with nothing but a face and an emotion, that's an art form. It's like standing in front of a crowd with no clothes on. You're gonna be vulnerable. But if you're able to pull it off, the moment will be unforgettable. Why does any of this matter? Well, ultimately, it's the minimalist videos that remind us of what music videos are meant to be about, the music. They strip away the noise and the distractions and they bring us back to the song. And isn't that what we're all here for? So if you're a director, an artist, or maybe just a fan, next time you watch a music video, just think about what sticks with you at the end of it. Is it the effects or is it the emotion and feeling that it gave you? And if you're making a video, maybe try scaling it back. Just see what happens. You might end up surprising yourself and your audience. So comment down below what some of your favorite minimalist music videos are. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm making it a personal goal of mine to release one new video every week for the remaining of this year. I'm trying to entertain, educate, and share my experience within this industry. So until then, I'll catch you on the next one.